In this part, uh, I present uh, about the industry uh, in our uh, project, in our uh, project uh, uh, of Idea City. And uh, let's start with uh, what, we want, uh, what we need uh, the industry uh, on our sport. Uh, we live in uh, mid uh, Currently, the cheapest way to curve into space is offered by uh, SpaceX. Even for a low F orbit, we are able to carry kilo of cargo for less than uh, $3,000. But what about Mars? It's for the way. Uh, it's estimated that the cost of sending Curiosity to Mars uh, was uh, responsible of for 20% of the cost of the whole trip. It is about uh, 500 million dollars. Uh, we work it, uh, it into uh, kilograms to deliver to Mars. It turns out uh, that the delivery uh, of each kilogram of uh, bread costs over uh, half uh, a million. Uh, are we um, uh, able to deliver just a few of the most needed uh, things? Maybe we don't need industry uh, at all. Uh, for example, uh, West joined an uh, airlock on ESS weight um, 6,000 kilos. If you convert the cost of curiosity delivered uh, to the cost shipping it alone, it's uh, 3 billion dollars. Almost 2 billion for food for 1,000 uh, people a year. We have already sent a few crops and rovers uh, to the surface of Mars in order to examine it. The table below um, shows the uh, percentage uh, composition of the Martian regolith, which was examined by Viking 1, Viking 2, Pathfinder, and Curiosity rovers. As can be seen, uh, almost half of the Martian regolith is silicon oxide. Uh, iron oxide is also account uh, for a large part of the Martian regolith. Uh, in addition to our regolith, uh, rocks on Mars were also examined. For example, the Opportunity rover came across uh, a rock called Head uh, Shield Rock. This rock had around uh, uh, 30 uh, uh, centimeter in the largest uh, point of it. The chemical composition of it uh, was uh, uh, determined to be a composition of iron and uh, nickel. On uh, the Mars surface, there is also Martian uh, berries. Uh, these are smart round uh, hematite uh, or iron compounds, and uh, their diameter uh, does not exceed uh, 6 mm. They were uh, discovered by Formiti Rover. Uh, but the most important uh, uh, raw material on uh, Mars, what is uh, needed uh, for uh, survival of human, uh, is water. As we know, the presence of water has been confirmed. Uh, we, um, it was found uh, on the poles in the form of ice and uh, um, partially uh, dissolved in rubble. Uh, settlement uh, created on Mars should be uh, located near a place with access to uh, uh, and our uh, team uh, chose a uh, um, place, uh, the best place, <coughs> uh, which distance, uh, the, uh, which distance uh, to post and uh, distance uh, to equator is uh, similar. Uh, however, due to the uh, geologically uh, of uh, Mars, the presence of several uh, elements we need has to not be concrete. Uh, this um, element uh, uh, is uh, copper and gold. This popular 
material to create uh, electronic devices. So we should assume that uh, the present moment, uh, present moment, that this element would need to be imported from F. Um, at present, it's not known exactly what is under uh, regolith, uh, under surface. Therefore, it should be assumed that uh, in the initial period, the extraction of raw, raw materials will be carried out in a and fast manner. In, the, yeah, in order to maximize the uh, profits, it's best to use uh, robots that can easily change the depending on the things. Um, the basic use of silica is construction. It's suitable for the production of concrete. It will be uh, the basis for the construction on mercing base. Thanks to the use of 3D printing technology, uh, we can uh, create a building that will be durable and, most importantly, resistant to radiation. Therefore, silica will be uh, the basis component of concrete. In addition, silica is used for glass production. In addition, uh, the production of only, which is great construction material, it's very good and lightweight at the same time. Uh, the most important application of ion is steel production. Uh, so we can uh, use it for uh, construction. Uh, one of the uh, max ingredient is calcium oxide. Calcium oxide is a key ingredient for the process of making sand. Magnesium oxide is pressed as a, a refractory material, for example, a, a solid that uh, is physically and chemically stable at high temperature. Uh, it uh, has two useful uh, attributes high thermal conductivity and low electric, uh, electrical conductivity. Uh, sulfur hydroxide is uh, used in uh, mass. And uh, I uh, mentioned uh, before this our file base, uh, Idea City, uh, which uh, we um, project uh, for uh, competition. Uh, and, uh, one of the first steps in order to develop a uh, database property was the creation of systematic breakdown structure um, uh, of our project. This allowed us to see entire database and establish connection between the individual elements. The picture show a um, section of SBS uh, of uh, industry. Uh, energy is, uh, is uh, also uh, necessary uh, uh, on uh, creating uh, our uh, base. So we, um, uh, we choose a few uh, energy, energy uh, for uh, production energy, uh, solar energy, wind energy, nuclear and nuclear reactor. Um, if we have uh, energy and air provided, we should take care uh, of uh, the food. In this case, it's important to grow what is profitable. That is, uh, what will provide us uh, with the best ratio of energy that we get from food to the energy that we have to uh, devote to its production. Uh, it's more effective only to produce uh, various kinds of uh, plants such as cereals, uh, vegetables uh, or fruits than uh, we, we can produce uh, meat. However, proteins are, uh, are important component uh, of the uh, human diet uh, and must not be overlooked. Therefore, it's best to choose such a, a organism which are going to multiply and uh, grow fast. So maybe we not 
eat real beef on Mars, but we will have to be satisfied with insects as a com component of the diets I will for supply protein. And uh, our diet based on uh, ve vegetable, uh, vegetable fruits and uh, alga uh, or crops, uh, alga and crops, yes, uh, and insects. Additionally, through supplementation, we can um, uh, complete the rest of diet, uh, such as uh, vitamins and uh, minerals. The way of growing plants are divided into several groups. It's a hydroponic uh, uh, and also growing in the ground. Uh, hydroponic and aeroponic is uh, the most effective uh, way of growing plants. In addition, by growing plants and algae, it's possible to produce uh, oxygen that we need to breathe. So, um, okay. Uh, so, uh, at the end, industry is uh, needed if you want to create permanent colonies on Mars. This involves a uh, delivering huge amount of equipment and materials on to Mars. Known resources on Mars uh, don't follow 100% uh, uh, self-sufficient. Uh, for example, uranus uh, or copper. Uh, in the initial period, the most of important industry is to, uh, to provide uh, basic resource, air, water, food, and energy. And important element at uh, later uh, stage is to ensure that all systems uh, remain in uh, continuous operation. So thank you very uh, much for your attention. Um, I'm aware that the you know the amount of uh, uranium in um, uh, Mars meteorites is very low compared yes. to Earth. Yes. Uh, however, uh, when they do gamma ray spectrometers, they they get a much higher uh, level of uranium in the, at least the top layers of Mars. I just, Mars. So there may be surface deposits that are. Oh, but I was wondering also, what is the? I hadn't heard that copper was rare on Mars. Copper uh, is. Uh, you know how that is based? What? That estimate is based on. Oh, I don't remember. Uh, so obviously, you know, copper is very important. Yes, copper is important in electronic, for example. Um, but oh, I it remember, mentions but, copper back. Uh, no, I have information, but it's uh, still low. Uh, so we uh, need, we have to uh, import this. Uh, pennies, send pennies to Mars. Yes. <laughs> <coughs> a question on this chart, uh, yes, actually a comment. comment. We, we have so How much, much compared uh, to Earth? I, we still don't know. Oh, okay, but, very good, thank you. But it's thank a low okay. uh, amount. Uh, we have, but it's... Ah, I see. Very good. <laughs> a comment on the, the number one item on that list, silica. Uh, uh -huh. It's there as silica equivalents in the spectrometry. It's not there as pure silica quartz. Yes. And, yes. and so that means you have to break down silicates, which are very energy intensive, in order to get to silica. It's of, of use to you in, in uh, electronics, glass, etc. Yes. So yes, there's, yes. there's a lot more work to be done there in terms of breaking it down and it's very energy intensive. Yeah. I had one comment about uh, gentleman notes about uranium and copper. So we know that Earth had a uh, period of intense melting and segregation of uh, materials where heavy elements go to the nucleus. Mm -hmm. If Mars didn't have the same structure, so you might expect uh, higher presence of heavy elements in the uh, upper layers. We don't know because this was made either on surface 
or some indirect measurement from the orbit. We know on Earth that there are uh, ores which is distributed very, very unevenly. And if, say, some geological observations or drilling might develop, might show something that rocks might have some uh, local concentrations of copper. I'm not sure about meteorites, so a metal might be much, much worth to go and just pick yes, meteorites, much, which much. are uh, ferrum and uh, nickel. What about copper? I just don't know. Yes, the, the, there's what is called a kind of uranium paradox. Uh, the, the Mars meteorites seem depleted in uranium uh, relative to Earth rocks. And same with uh, thorium. Uh, another, you know, chemically related. So I, but I don't understand it. We may have to just get lucky. <clears throat> if we found a bunch of uranium on Mars, would we tell everybody? That's the other thing. <laughs> it's just far distant technology to enrich it. Another comment on that? Uh, there's a lot of thorium on Mars, and we can build a thorium fission. Rate. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> we can. Energy intensive things is not going to be a problem on Mars, as I will say in my talk in a few minutes. Uh, no, I, there's somebody else in there. And um, just speaking of that energy levels, do you have any estimates of how much energy your colony is going to need to produce in order to sustain itself? Um, I don't remember, but we have like 17 mega. Yeah. and lots of duplicate spare parts. For example, if your water pump on Earth breaks, what do you do? You go to the store and buy them. That won't work on Mars, will it? So don't have one, for example, water pump on Mars. You yes. have four or five. It's, uh, it's uh, better to have a few uh, We assume that we have ready to find solutions like in every part of our base because of the safety. So not only in I'm just using water pumps as an example. Yeah, yeah, but we know it. We have like in every field of our base, like in electricity, in water, in air supply, because it's all needed and we can afford for failure. Yeah. It's too dangerous to have it in like Thank you very much. Thank you.